test. Okay, seems to be good. So this is part one of our geometric lion. Um, we are going to divide up his um, face, so it almost looks like shattered glass, stained glass as well. And then we're going to do these weird geometric kind of shapes for his mane. Okay, yours may or may not look exactly like mine, especially when we do the mane. What's more important is these these shapes are just at random and they're going out, they're radiating, radiating out from the center of it. Okay, um, so first thing I'm going to do with my ruler, again, if you don't have a ruler, get something else, is so I'm going to split up this section into smaller sections. So I'm just going to do that by literally just drawing additional straight lines. And I like going from one corner to another corner so it looks like it was intentionally split up. It's like I might go from this point to that point. And then I'm going to come in here and split up these larger sections like this guy right here, which is another one. Uh, no rhyme or reason to it. I'm just planning as I go along. Might do one here. And maybe I'll do one here to here. Maybe here to here. I think that's good. I'm going to do the same thing up here because this is a big section. I want to divide everything except for basically this where my hand is. So our, our nose and down below. So I'm going to go from this point, I think, to that point. This could be a larger section, I think. Twist on my paper, so I apologize if it's kind of confusing. Just stick with me if you can. Just dividing things, OK? So there's my lion. Now the mane. There's no right or wrong way to do this. You just kind of have to dive in. So I am going to, again with my ruler, start wherever you want. I think I'm going to start up here because it's going to kind of go this direction. And I'm going to start from one of my corners, you know, where two lines intersected. And just make a line, OK? Literally just make a line and then Turn that line into another geometric shape by doing one end of it and then somehow making your way back to the lion's head. So there's the first part. Okay, I basically want to repeat random shapes like that going up and then slowly going this way, then this way, then this way, then this way. So the angle's changing depending on where it is. Like a sun ray, if you draw like a little kitty sun, you know what I'm saying? The sun rays are angling from the center as you go around that's where they're kind of coming from you want the same thing to be for the lion's mane I'll never clean that up I'm on my sketchy lines so I'm just going to start building making these random geometric shapes coming from his head okay some big some small some really long and skinny, some pointy, some flat. There is no right or wrong. And like I'm running out of room up here, so it's just going to go off the edge of my paper. But I'm going to try to fill all these spaces with these little kind of some jagged, some pointy, kind of rectangular geometric shapes. I'm just going to keep going. It's like I don't have a plan where I'm going to do all of these. I'm just, again, making my way very spontaneous as I go through it. So I'm starting to angle my shapes down more as I go down. And they're going to get slightly longer. Um, as they go down his head because it hangs a lot more. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Good gosh. So I'll be a little bit wider, I think, and kind of pointy. And like, I'd even go back and like these little spaces, if I don't like that negative space, how so it kind of comes in, I could fill that in with one as well. You know, make, create a new one that might be behind these other things. I'm just going through it. This one's going to be short. Oopsies. 
because I'm going to have another one behind it. I'm going to make a long and narrow one. You need a ruler, guys. You definitely need a ruler. It's going to be a pain in the, in the butt if you don't have something nice to have straight lines with. So I'm starting to even angle it now farther down. And this, basically the remainder of these is just going to go straight off the paper. I might even add a longer one here. I think I'm going to. So I'm just making these smaller ones that I'll eventually, I'll eventually do additional lines so it looks like longer ones like in this spot right here just going off the paper. Mm, what do I want to do? I might do some angled ones. And then that might be it friends. So we got our geometric main. <clears throat> if you needed to do it kind of like how we did part one, really soft, and then go back with the ruler, how we did the, his actual face, you could do that as well. I find it easier just to dive right in and just do it with the ruler right away. Um, but once you have this, take something, whether it's a color pencil or a nice marker, and go through the whole thing. I'm not going to record myself doing my whole thing. But trace it nice and crisp. If all these straight lines, if you cannot freehand it as you trace to keep it looking good, use the ruler as you go through each one. So like this little straight line right here, for all these things you cannot trace, so it still looks nice and crisp and straight. Like this long one right here. Looks okay, but if you cannot make it look still nice and crisp as you do it, Line your ruler up as you trace everything, each individual line. Or else using that ruler would have been pointless when you trace it if it still is not straight. It's like you could use the ruler, line it up with the line that you're going to trace, and trace each individual line if you can't do it by hand. But I'm going to stop the video. At this point, you should have part one done. Part two was splitting up his head and doing the main and then finish tracing it. I think my finished one I did a brown color pencil or brown marker excuse me. Don't worry about filling in yet. Um, just get it nice and traced. Okay. Best of luck.